Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where today we are going to be heading out to Curb Safe to collect my SLS AMG Black Series now with silver wheels. We're going to be taking the Lusso. It is a beautiful day. The car has been there for a couple of days to go through all the process. Today though, we will collect it and see how these look against the Mystic Blue. I also have something to show you a little bit later on. The 1 to 18 scale from Mini Shops of my SLS Black Series already in Mystic Blue with the silver wheels as well. So let's get the Lusso fired up, head on out and go pick it up. This will be the first time that the GTC4 Lusso in its TDF blue and the SLS since it has been painted in Mystic blue are going to be together. The two dark navy blue Shmima Beals, both of which have silver wheels, but there's quite a lot more that goes into the wheels and choosing the exact details than you would think. These have dark grey inserts with diamond cut fascias, which are all finished with a gloss lacquer. The SLS has AMG silver with diamond cut, but with a satin lacquer. You'll see the differences out in the sunshine later, but I cannot wait to get the two cars together. Let's come straight through though. We will whistle on with the journey to get over to Curb Safe where the work has been done. But let me first get this fired up. We've got the 6.3 V12 in here. We'll have the 6.2 V8 later on. But let's bring it into life. There we go. We get ready to get this journey on the move to go and see how the SLS looks. On a very gentle cruise out of London, but we have a particularly lovely Aston Martin Vanquish coming right past just now. Of course, that car has a six litre naturally aspirated, oh, Vanquish S, six litre naturally aspirated V12. This is a 6.3 litre naturally aspirated V12. The SLS is a 6.2 litre naturally aspirated V8. The land of the big naturally aspirated engines. Exactly what we like. And the big thing about the SLS and the Lusso is that they're both, or both have those big NA engines mounted front mid. So in front of you, but behind the front axle, which is what makes them so incredible cars to drive. Such incredible cars. Anyway, it's not gonna be too long until we get there and then see how it is. Alrighty then, here we are at Curb Safe, ready to go on inside and take a look. It is a beautiful day and I've just been inside to see the new wheels which I will show you in about 10 seconds but before we do, just quickly as I touched on earlier, there are so many different finishes and looks you can have for wheels. These on the Lusso have a gloss lacquer over the top of the diamond coat and the painted spokes. Of course they shine bright, you've almost got that chrome like effect. Very different from the wheels I'm going to come and show you now here inside the office at Curbsafe where we have the SLS Black Series wheels right here, one of the fronts, all finished mounted up with the new tires. Let me explain a little bit about what we've done here. So we've got the satin lacquer over the top, the AMG silver for the main part of the wheels, the face, so the spokes and also the rim have the diamond cut behind the satin lacquer. We've gone away from having the black logo, so we've got the silver wheels, very clean look inside the new Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 MO tires, the Mercedes original, an updated set of tires. So that is one of the fronts in a moment that is going to be going onto the car. We will go through that process. We've got the rest of the set just here as well, the two rears. And look at how gigantic those are. 20 inch at the rear, 19 at the front. These tires are 325 section, very wide tires. Of course, replacing the original, a new set, thanks to Michelin. The originals obviously had come with the car about seven years earlier. The paint finish is very similar to that found on the fuel filler cap. These are gonna suit the dark blue paint very, very nicely when they are installed shortly. Before the new look wheels are mounted back onto the car, let me explain a bit of the process and some of the stages that they have to go through to transform them from the original satin black look. First step is of course to take the wheels off the car, then to remove the tires from the wheels, but then they have to be stripped down to take away the original satin black paintwork, which is done using a container with various chemicals that will strip the paint away. From there, they either get sandblasted or aquablasted. In this case, they're aquablasted because of the forged wheels. I'm going to tell you something else about these wheels in particular in a moment. That's done to give them a consistent finish to completely clean them up. Then the next stage is to go to be powder coated. They're heated up so the powder coat instantly sticks to the wheels. That's when they then very shortly after will get their layer of paint. The AMG Silver in this case Curbsafe make their own paints for the wheels. When they've been painted they're then left to cure and at various stages it takes a bit of time to cure them uh, between each of these things being done. When they've been painted that's when of course they then get the clear lacquer or in this case the satin lacquer that gives them the final finish that we see right here and very shortly we will see out in the sunshine when they've been fitted back onto the car which I'm looking forward to so that will get started but I do also want to show you the model of this 
with these already fitted. Sitting delicately then on the full-size car, check this out. The Mini Shumps 1 to 18 scale replica of my new Shmi Mobile, the SLS AMG Black Series in Mystic Blue with the silver wheels. There are only going to be 99 of these. It's made from 145 parts. They'll be available towards the end of the year. It opens up the bonnet boot and the doors. Let me just see if I can carefully open this up. Even the interior are all the right details. Left-hand drive, the red seat belts, the bucket seats. This thing is awesome. And of course, an exact color match to the car that we have just here. I need to do this carefully so I don't knock it off, but an exact color match in mystic blue, even with the gold carbon ceramic calipers. I love these. This is with Mini Champs. It is so cool. It is time then to see the silver wheel against the paint. This is cool. I know it's a small detail, but like I've said, this is basically the last visual change to this car that I wanted to do to make it my specification, to make it the permanent Schmiebeville. The Mystic Blue paintwork was, of course, a massive operation at Chartwell. This is I mean, still quite an operation to go through all of those different stages. And also the gold caliper against the satin silver wheel. That's really, really nice too. This, when it's out in the sunshine, is going to look magnificent. If you ask me, if you have a dark body color, silver wheel just look smart and classy. So we'll see in a few minutes what it's gonna look like with them all installed. The others are on and of course vital part of the process to make sure they are all torqued correctly which by the book is to 180 Newton meters. Then we'll pop the center caps back in as well but this is starting to look really really pretty awesome. We'll just have to get it out into the sunshine when it's been lowered down to see what these are actually properly gonna look like. In go the center caps. One of the finishing touches. Lovely. Looking wow. so good. And gently down we come to the ground, where of course these things always look a little bit different when that wheel arch gap shrinks, which will change even more so when the back comes down as well. Yes, this is working, dark blue and silver, absolutely the right call. It is time then to get this car out into the sunshine with these new wheels here at Curb Safe. I'm excited anyway, just because it's still my new car, don't forget, having repainted it in mystic blue with this. Let's, let's see this. Let's see the sun on the car then with these silver wheels. Yes, yes, a million times yes. This looks fantastic. I'm gonna come around because we've got more sun over on this side of the car. This looks brilliant. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's a simple thing. Well, this is so much better. So, so, so much better. Of course, this had to be done. The one-to-one -one with the 1 to 18, which is the exact Mercedes Designo Mystic Blue paint. The wheels are the exact color of the real cars as well. I love these little things. As you all know from my channel, this is awesome from Mini Champs. There'll be more information about that down below. But well, Curbsafe have absolutely nailed this. These wheels look fantastic. Now, I said there was one more thing that I needed to tell you about them. Now that we've got the sun back out, check this out. You can just about see some light markings in the diamond cut. What that is, is the magnesium content of the wheel. These wheels are actually extra light with, of course, having a bit of magnesium inside the forged uh, wheel itself. A bit like how on an F40, for example, you have the carbon fiber weave that you can see through the Rosso Corsa paintwork. That's really a quite nice touch as well if you're looking at it really, really, really close. But the sun back out, it's just looking magnificent. Away we head then, and I've got the Lusso in tow making the way back home, but this is now the completed SLS, at least in terms of the visual side of things. It's been a much longer process than you might actually think, of course, to purchase the car in Germany, to work out how to buy it, to get it back home, to go through the complete respray job at Chartwell, then to put PPF on it, and of course, ultimately now, to have done the wheels as well. It's been, I think, from start up to this point, about three and a half months, but now, in terms of visual modifications, we are done with this car. I will be making a few more changes, as I mentioned, in terms of a visit to Rentec, also in terms of the steering wheel, that's gonna be coming in the not too distant future. But obviously this car is now, well, it's ready for adventure. It's ready to head out and about and to go and be enjoyed properly. But you can actually drive for such a hardcore car it quite normally. You know, it does drive, yes, it's firm, but it does drive gently if you want it to. It's very wide and obviously this is left-hand drive, but this is the kind of car that I can just drive always, everywhere, all the time, long distances, short distances, who even minds? It's got a little bit of luggage space at the back. Yes, okay, it's not gonna be going and doing any big shops or purchasing any huge items, but now, I, I mean, it was my dream car for a long time. When I first drove an SLS Black Series, now about three years ago, 
it was it was kind of that day that told me one day one day I needed one of these then I've driven them a few times since with a few different friends and the Mercedes factory car and every time this was one of my heroes that was everything I hoped it would be when I got to meet it for the first time and every time after that and now it's in my ideal specification if I could have ordered one from new back when it came out 2013 certainly I wasn't in a position to do so but this this is how I would have spec'd it obviously you know I love my blue cars this I think completing the blue crew with the Senna and the GT8 and yes I haven't included the G63 and the GTC4 Lusso because I don't see those as permanent cars in the collection they will at some point find a new home whereas the Senna the GT8 and the SLS Black are the three blue cars to keep forever and with the Lusso following me at the moment this is well this is really pretty cool I'm not gonna lie so hopefully we'll get a little bit of road to enjoy but making the way back home with this now finished and finally out of the little villages and in fact I'm just gonna blip it down a few gears because the sound is pure intoxication of this thing still can't really drive very quickly we need to head out to Germany get some Autobahn get some Nürburgring Nordschleife and enjoy this car as it has actually been built to be enjoyed in a completely unique specification. And that's one thing I didn't really talk about. Remember, there is one other Mystic Blue SLS Black Series out there in the world, but that car has the upgrade satin black wheels like this had before. This is now a unique specification. There is no other one that looks the same as this car. And to me, that is really, really cool. I love those kind of details when it's, you know, when it's something special when it's something different, when it's something personal. It corners so well for this kind of car. The engine is up front. And then, when we head out onto a main road. So awesome. So awesome. Having pulled over for a moment, how cool do these two cars look together? The dark blues, in the case of the SLS, they're very, very dark, but with very, very bright wheels. And then the slightly more, I guess, less extreme colors of the Lusso. It's a little bit lighter. The wheels are also a bit lighter being in the gray. This though, just look at that. Look at that. It's unusual having bright colored wheels on an SLS Black Series, given that you couldn't actually get them like that. But for me, this is really, really cool in the afternoon sunshine that we have right now, especially the paint color. Look at this. Look at this paint color. It's glorious. Totally perfect for this car, if you ask me. Totally perfect. Of course, I have actually kind of not mentioned the badge that we talked about at Topaz. I will be putting on the correct badge at some point very, very, very soon as well. For the time being, I don't mind having the older one on. But yes, these two are two very nice cars currently chilling here in the afternoon sun. Spectacular. Back on the road and the beauty of a couple of downshifts. in this car are just quite frankly mental now left-hand drive car problems because I can't really see around the roundabout we're good just lean through and get to take a look those are the kind of things you have to watch out for but this sound and well the sound's gonna get livelier but already it's just an angry you know brutish thing <laughs> Endless enjoyment. This is always quite an amusing slip road. Round the corner, foot down. <laughs> ah, good times, right? Let's continue on home, back to the garage. And we are back, where of course the car is parked in quite a dark corner here in the garage. The bulb right above is currently out and the light just in front is very, very yellow, which always makes cars parked here look a little bit unusual. However, this is tying in. Of course, I wanted to do the wheel silver to link into the front grille, the fuel filler cap, and the color is really spot on. This is a near on perfect match to that. They really do go together perfectly. And around the back, we've got the badges, we've got the exhaust tips. So those silver touches that carry on throughout. And I think that it's a smart, classy specification. Of course, that's quite different in a way to the nature of the car. It's a brutish beast. That's what the SLS Black Series is all about. But this is, this is what I wanted. And to me, this is perfect. It's come out super, super well. So a big thanks to Curbsafe for their work to make the wheels, get them all complete. And I hope you enjoyed seeing exactly how that is done as well. And of course, to Michelin for the new tires that the car is wearing. 
now it's just going to be time to go out and have some fun. So that will all be coming very soon. Thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, that's it for this time. And I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.